everyone, this is Leadbetter 17P. Today we're going to take an up close look at the Patriot RDA. As Grim Green would say, uppy closey time. So we're going to take a quick look at it from the outside. I got this on my Nemesis at the moment. As you see, it fits really nice on the Nemesis. Nice streamlined fit. Looks really good too. You got the little Patriot logo, the wings. Got a drip tip on top, which is a little dirty. All right, what else? We got an air hole right there on the side, and on the other side we have another air hole, which I have not drilled out on this device. Uh, these are the stock air holes that it comes with. Uh, I think this RDA has great airflow, so I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 on that. Looks, I give it a 10 out of 10. Works really good. Drip tip does come off. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the same drip tip that comes with all of them. This is the one that was sent to me with it, at least. Now, when you look down on the inside, it's a little bit hard to get in there and drip unless you've got like a, uh, like a needle bottle like this. Then you might be able to get in there and, and, and drip with that. But that's not the flavor I'm using in here. I'm actually using one of my own flavors. So let's... Put the drip tip back on, just like so. And what we'll do is we'll pull this top cap off. I already have a coil build in here that I've been using. Set that top cap aside. Actually, we'll look on the inside of that top cap. That's what the inside of it looks like. Not really all that different. All right, so here is, let's see if we can get the light. There we go, that's a perfect view. I have two uh, coils go in there with twisted canthal. I'm using two strands of 30 gauge canthal wire twisted together and let's see what am I using seven or eight wraps I believe I want to say eight wraps each for each coil I'd have to look at it real quick uh, I don't know it's too small to see let's see if we can get this to autofocus again just like so we have eight wraps each for each coil. Comes out to a 0 0.8 ohm dual coil. And if we fire it, fires pretty good. Now, I'm using cotton for wick in this. I use cotton in all my builds. Uh, so you see, I got really nice cotton wicks in there. You got three posts. You got your two positive and a negative. Or two negative and a positive. I can't remember which way they go. I want to say the middle one's the negative and the outer two are positives. I can't remember though. Probably wrong. I'm sure somebody will correct me. But you got your three posts. These have the hole in the post that you can feed the wire through and you screw down the uh, top screw and it will pinch the wire. Uh, word of advice, don't, do, don't tighten them too much or it will break your wire and they won't secure. Now if you take See if, I don't know if I can get, okay it does it will come right out for me the bottom of this is a 510 connection Let's see if I can get this out so you can see just a simple 510 alright we'll put that back on just like so make sure it's on nice and tight I think this is a great great combination in my opinion the uh, the nemesis and the Patriot RDA. Take another look at these coils. We'll fire it. Getting a little dry in my opinion. But we're going to put a couple drops of juice on there. I'm using a uh, an all VG juice for this build. Uh, this is just a, a bottle of it right here that I'm using. It's my vanilla cupcake flavored juice uh, that I mixed up myself. It's just, uh, I think it's 80% VG and 20% distilled water, then some flavoring. I kind of guessed on the flavoring. Uh, there's a little bit there, and a little bit there. Just enough to soak in up the tops of them coils. And there we go, you got some nice vapor production. I mean, it's great. It's a great, great device. And when you put the cap on, you want to make sure your holes in your cap 
are lined up with your coils. So just like that. Let's give this a quick vape. Throw some nice clouds, especially when you're using an all VG juice. I'm not using any nicotine in this juice. Uh, this juice is just for me to sit here and if I just want to vape to vape, this is what I use. Um, so that is the Patriot RDA. Uh, definitely my favorite rebuildable so far. I have the three that I have. Uh, this is my favorite. Uh, the Nimbus is a second. It's, it's a nice one to start with when it comes to dual coils. The Igo L is crap in my opinion. It's a single coil, you know, rebuildable dripping atomizer, and I think it's crap. But this Patriot right here, this device, or this uh, RDA, is awesome, and it matches up perfect on my Nemesis. So I think it looks really nice. So this is my main setup for this. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe and leave comments. So as always, this is Leadbetter17P. Thanks for watching.